Welcome back to the Calypso Tutorials. In this session, we will be talking about the CAD evaluation settings. One of the beneficial tools as far as graphical output in Calypso is the ability to turn on the CAD evaluation settings. This will allow you to display the actual points that have been scanned on a part directly on the CAD model. If we take a look at the CAD evaluation menu, simply select a characteristic that has evaluated points. Now you'll notice in this example, I have chosen to display the results. And we have a number of different settings so that you can view it as you need for your particular output. At the top, we have the magnification settings for that measurement. You can choose automatic magnification or choose your own value. You can have it automatically align the entire CAD model and system. You can choose to show or hide the tolerance frames. You can also choose to display the nominal CAD geometry, which will display in yellow as a default. You can also display the axis, in this case, of our cylinder. And for the features, you can choose whether you would like to see the feature as transparent, so that you can see into and out of the feature. You can make it solid. You can highlight the feature, or you can hide it entirely. Down at the bottom is how you'd like to actually display the points. So you can display them as individual points. You can display them as lines, spheres, or as we've just seen, as cylinders. You can adjust the diameter to make it larger or smaller depending on the size of your part and your measurements. You can choose to connect the actuals or not, and then you can also adjust the color gradient. On the right hand side, we have the color gradient displayed and you can select properties to adjust any of the settings with regard to what you'd like to see. So we can increase the number of steps for our color classes. You can adjust whether you want the color extension on for the maximum deviation and minimum deviation. You can use automatic scaling and set up your color based on the sigma values. Down at the bottom of the screen, we have the option to save the view. So if you want a close-up of this particular view within a program, you can simply click on Save View. You can also automatically have it create an output for your characteristic list. Now you see my list, I have a CAD presentation. If we take a look, this shows me a landscape view of that particular characteristic directly on my part. In the next tab, you have the option to turn on and off the banner for the characteristics. You can include upper and lower tolerances, deviation, out of tolerance, and the actual nominal and identifier information, all to be included in the flag. You have the option on how you'd like to view it, the size of the characters, if you want a banner output just from the warning limit or out of tolerance, and down at the bottom, if you don't have a lot of points, we have the benefit of being able to display a banner for each single point. If you have thousands of points, you get thousands of banners. This is very beneficial if you have a small series of points, but you need to know the deviation for each individual point. You can also turn a flag on for the features. And again, you have the same option for what's to be displayed in the flag. So now we can take a look at a couple of different options. You can see those on any of the features that have the ability to produce a graphical output. These CAD views can be displayed for any form or profile output in Calypso, anything that has a graphic output. You'll also notice in each of these, we have the new PyWeb reporting icon, which will create a direct report using the PyWeb reporting function. So you see we have the cylinder city output directly in a PyWeb report. And that's an overview of the CAD evaluation settings. Thank you for joining us for another Calypso tutorial.